I'll just tell you, we've been to the bottom of the oceans, we've been to ancient Greek mythology, we've been to the past and the future of Flash, into the digital world of Cyborg. We still gotta go to space. So the Green Lanterns and the Green Lantern Corps will be coming to join the Justice of the Universe. Except to say, expect the unexpected. Years has shown us anything. It's that this universe is far bigger than any of us could have dared imagine. Every existence multiplied by possibility. Life, a precious gift. Persevering in the face of every obstacle. Until, finally, the Age of Heroes was born. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated. Just cleaning up the timelines. You're welcome, Canada. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my new video for the Green Lantern HBO series that's happening in 2021 and all the Green Lantern scenes and Easter eggs that have been happening recently on the DC TV shows. The producers came out and explained a whole bunch of details in part of their special deal that they made with Warner Brothers in DC to let them do Green Lantern stuff and how it's all connected. So if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do a Green Lantern ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know what you want them to do on that Green Lantern HBO show. So we'll just break this down top five style, starting with number five. The Green Lantern HBO show, like I said, won't premiere till at least next year in 2021, but they are in the middle of developing it. Like I said, the Arrowverse producers, Greg Berlanti mostly, is the person that's also behind the HBO Green Lantern show. Fun Easter egg, they were also pushed off of the Green Lantern movie back in 2011, the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie. They were working on it for a little while, but then they got kicked off the movie. The good news in all that is that if you're disappointed in what happened with the Green Lantern movie, they aren't responsible for what that turned into. But just because it's the same producers that are making all the Arrowverse shows in the Green Lantern HBO show doesn't mean that Grant Gustin's Flash, for instance, is going to show up every single week crossing over with Green Lantern on HBO. We're supposed to treat it like an alternate universe for now. That's why the Crisis on Infinite Earths ending scene was so important. Letting you know that that Green Lantern stuff is taking place on Earth-12 in an alternate universe. They did reuse footage from Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern movie to do that. But as you would expect, Ryan Reynolds himself is not attached to the new project. And they'll be doing a new version of Hal Jordan amongst the other most famous Green Lantern comics characters. Warner Brothers is calling it a big budget event series, and because it's only going to be available on the new HBO streaming service, HBO Max, that implies it's only going to be 8 to 10 episodes tops per season, but it will run multiple seasons. Really easy comparison to make would be The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. They spend around $12 million per an episode of The Mandalorian, and that's because it's so expensive, but it looks amazing. So if you ever wondered why the episode count was so low for The Mandalorian, that's why. But number four, WTF, the Diggle Green Lantern Arrow scene from the Arrow series finale means what you think it means, but the producers did explain why they only showed him opening the green glowing ring box and you didn't see him in an actual costume. They said that Warner Brothers and DC were planning something really special with the new Green Lantern HBO series that wouldn't premiere for a couple years. So during Arrow season seven, about a year ago, they did the deal with Greg Berlanti to develop that Green Lantern HBO show. Around that time, they also told them that they could give Diggle a Green Lantern ring during Arrow Season 8, so they knew a year in advance that this scene was going to happen on Arrow. The Arrow people said that they just decided to save that moment for the Arrow finale because it was a great way to send the character out, letting you know that there were big things coming in his future. But the funny thing is, is they said that part of the terms of their agreement, all the legal red tape with Warner Brothers and DC allowing them to use Green Lantern characters in the Arrowverse, were that they couldn't talk about the future of Green Lantern in the Arrowverse with the press. 
basically Fight Club rules. You can do Green Lantern stuff this year as long as you don't tell everyone our big plans for Green Lantern stuff happening next year. So that's why you've probably seen the producers talking about the Arrow finale saying anything could happen. We don't know what's going to happen with Diggle. He opened that box. It sure seems like he has a Green Lantern ring. So if you thought that Diggle Green Lantern scene was kind of weird in its execution, it's just because of the rules they were given. And that's also why they didn't give Diggle the Green Lantern ring during the actual Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover episodes. Because I think a lot of us were expecting them to do some kind of Green Lantern stuff during the crossover, which they did, but just not what we expected. So number three, WTF, there is a difference between the Green Lantern HBO characters and the Arrowverse Green Lantern characters. Everyone was asking me after the Arrow finale and the Diggle Green Lantern scene if Diggle was going to cross over with the Green Lantern HBO show now. They have to give him a costume at some point. They have to explain how he trains with the new ring. And the Diggle character was never a comic book character to begin with, never a Green Lantern. Diggle was created during the first season of Arrow for the TV show, then later DC Comics added him to the Green Arrow comics. In that way, he's kind of like the Harley Quinn character that she didn't debut in the comics before showing up on a TV series. She debuted on Batman the Animated Series first, then they put her in the comics. The Green Lantern HBO show is going to be its own thing with the core Green Lantern comic book characters. I mean, never say never, but Diggle, for the most part, is going to stay inside the Earth Prime universe. Like they said on the Arrow finale, he's moving to Metropolis. There will be a DC TV Superman TV show later this year with Tyler Hecklin's Earth Prime Superman and his twin sons. So Diggle is probably just going to be the Green Lantern of the Arrowverse proper and just cross over with Superman on his TV show. Pretty easy to understand. And then they'll let the Green Lantern HBO show just be its own thing, like Titans is off in its own universe doing its own thing. Before Crisis on Infinite Earths happened and all those multiverse scenes in the crossovers, I wouldn't have expected any of the Arrowverse characters to show up in the really big movie stuff that's happening. But if they went as far to cross over Ezra Miller's Flash with the Grant Gustin Flash, something I never expected that they would do, then I suppose anything is possible. That was seriously probably the best scene from the crossover. Oh, do you want a selfie, bro? No, no, I'm not, sorry. I'm so, I don't, we're not, no. I'm also the Flash. You're also the what? Number two, the newer press release on the Green Lantern HBO show is that it will cover a couple different decades of history and a couple different Green Lanterns, including Sinestro and eventually the Sinestro Corps. There are a billion different Green Lanterns, but they said there'd be two main ones in addition to Sinestro, and I think you can all guess which ones. They didn't say anything about how they tell the story, if there'd be flashbacks, or if they tell it in a linear way, but they'll probably start with an origin story for Sinestro in the past. Then a little while later, they'll do the origin story for Hal Jordan when he gets his ring. Sinestro will be one of his mentors. Then later in the timeline, as you would probably expect, they'll do the Jon Stewart origin story and a slightly older Hal Jordan will become his mentor. And at some point in the future, Sinestro will turn to the dark side take the Yellow Ring of Fear, and eventually create the Sinestro Corps to rival the Green Lantern Corps. They didn't say how many seasons, but I'd assume at least four to five seasons. Remember, only eight to ten episodes per season, probably. So don't expect all of that stuff to happen in the first season. But yes, number one WTF, this is the path to a Blackest Night big event series like everyone had hoped for they'd eventually get to. That's huge, so they could always decide to do Blackest Night as a big movie Justice League crossover event. Because of the big budget HBO Green Lantern show, though, I think that they've temporarily canceled the Green Lantern Corps movie that they had talked about a couple years ago. Same thing happened with the Boba Fett movie and the Obi-Wan movie in the Star Wars universe. Those became Disney Plus big budget series, so no surprise that DC and Warner Brothers would do the same thing. There's even talk of them doing a new Blue Beetle HBO Max series, so don't be surprised if you hear about more big budget series like The Mandalorian happening inside the DC Universe on the HBO Max service. But if the Green Lantern HBO show goes well, and it seems like it will based on everything that's going into it and all the money they're spending on it, those Green Lanterns would be the ones that show up in the next Justice League movie. I'll do more videos for the Green Lantern HBO show and Green Lantern Arrowverse stuff as they release more details. There'll probably be some more Easter eggs going on in the back half of the season and obviously when all the shows start next year too. The Super Bowl is this weekend. I will be doing Super Bowl trailer videos for the bigger stuff, but leave all your requests in the comments below. I know there's going to be a Black Widow trailer. I'm not expecting a new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer for a little while longer, but if anything posts, I'll be sure to do a video about it. Congratulations to the giveaway winner from my last big video, Faithful Steve. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your details. 
Everyone click here for my new Marvel Eternals teaser breakdown and click here to watch that Crisis on Infinite Earth scene of Flash meeting the Ezra Miller Flash again. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.